This is the Apple Watch Series 5. It is the newest model of Apple Watch and it comes with a decent amount of new features. Now, I've personally been wearing it for about two weeks now and I really like it, but who cares what I have to say about it? We're gonna look into what other people have to say about it. We went through the 10 most comprehensive Apple Watch reviews we could find and we're bringing you everything you need to know on whether or not you should buy this. Okay, so for the first half of this video, we're gonna go through all the reviews we looked at from top tech publications to awesome YouTubers and break down their main takeaways on the Apple Watch Series 5. And then in the second half, we're gonna do a deep dive into all the historical deal data to see how much you should actually pay for this. Because I'm telling you now, it is not full price. Okay, so starting off with the design, the consensus between all the reviews was generally positive. Of the 10 reviews we looked at, most of them weren't too excited with the design of the new Apple Watch, but that's because it looks almost identical to the Series 4. So if you liked the Series 4, you really shouldn't have any problems with this, but reviewers weren't super impressed. As Macworld mentioned in their review, you could easily spend upwards of $1,500, but that's the beauty of the Apple Watch. The $399 version is just as good as any of the $1,000 plus models. The style is what you're paying for. So Consumer Reports put the Apple Watch Series 5 through some pretty rigorous stress testing, and they gave the glass face a very good rating when undergoing scratching with specialized picks. Now onto battery life. The consensus was generally negative. Of the 10 reviews we looked at, there were a lot of mixed feelings about the battery life of the Apple Watch Series 5. Some reviewers applauded Apple for maintaining a battery life comparable to the Series 4, despite the new always on feature, and other reviewers are still upset that Apple is not able to push the Apple Watch to a multi-day lifespan. Marquez Brownlee mentioned in his review that the always-on display did actually hurt his battery life in his tests. At the end of the day, there was 50% battery remaining with the feature turned off and 20% battery remaining with the feature turned on. Now the feature can be toggled and he suggested using it only on shorter days where you're not gonna be using your Apple Watch so much and turning it off when you're expecting a much more intensive day. So something to keep in mind for people who wanna get one of these for fitness is Apple reports themselves with GPS turned on and tracking your exercise, you're only gonna get about six hours of battery life out of the Series 5. So a lot of reviews noted that the Apple Watch Series 5 battery life, while decent, kind of pales in comparison to some of its competitors, which have up to multiple days of battery life. So if you're going on a weekend getaway, you're gonna definitely need to bring your charger. Okay, so now what did everyone think about the display? The consensus was universally positive this time. The big change with the Apple Watch Series 5 is the always on display. This feature has been prevalent on most competing devices and now it is finally part of the Apple Watch and everyone is stoked. The always on feature is actually one of the biggest selling points for the Series 5. It may seem small, but reviewers were very excited. CNET's review stated that the always on feature finally makes you feel normal. Engadget also had pleasant remarks about the feature stating, for the uninitiated, the idea is that you can glance at the time even when it is not convenient to raise your wrist, say when you're in a meeting or in the middle of a bendy yoga pose. I don't know what that's like, but I'm sure it's good for them. The screen is brighter than the Series 4 and is easily visible in the morning daylight when you take a quick glance at it. While competing smartwatches have an always on display as well, those are usually limited to just showing the time. The Apple Watch allows one of 34 different watch faces to be displayed and even the workout app. Although there is a decent selection currently available, CNET noted that they hope for a watch face store for third-party developers to add unique designs. And honestly, I agree. I mean, these are cool, but there could be cooler ones. The performance on the Series 5 was generally positive. Now, not too many reviewers called this out, but Engadget said, performance on the watch feels snappy, but not noticeably faster than the Series 4. There's a new chip inside, the S5 instead of the S4, but again, the performance leap is immaterial compared to what it felt like upgrading from the Series 3 to the Series 4. Okay, now under the compass and navigation. The consensus was generally positive. Now this is a new feature of the Series 5, and when it was originally announced, most people were like, meh, not too excited. But after playing around with it, almost every reviewer agreed it's pretty cool. 
Reviewers noted that this feature is great for those who enjoy hiking or the great outdoors, but to some, like Engadget's reviewer, who identifies as a city slicker, it may not be as useful. The compass coordinates with Apple Maps and third-party apps like Yelp. Engadget states that it's nice to be able to keep your phone in your pocket, especially if you're in a strange city and trying your hardest not to look like a tourist. Tom's guide mentions that it should be noted that certain watch bands will interfere with the Series 5's built-in magnetometer. Basically, any band with a magnet in it will throw off the compass's ability to perform. So if you're heading out for an adventure, leave the Milanese loop or modern buckle at home. When it comes to health and fitness, the consensus was universally positive with all 10 reviewers having great things to say about it. So I Justine, in her review, took the watch through many features of exercise tracking and she partook in activities such as running, hiking, yoga, and rock climbing. And she commended the watch for helping her stay accountable when it comes to exercising. So Digital Trends praised the fitness features. They said the Apple Watch is the only fitness and health tracker you'll ever need to wear. It takes care of steps, calories, hourly movement, relaxation, VO2 max data, hours spent standing and workout tracking from everything including swimming and biking and more unusual activities like yoga and elliptical training. For all other features, the consensus was generally positive. The biggest software change with the Apple Watch Series 5 is the addition of an app store specifically for the Apple Watch. The reviewers were all extremely happy that adding apps to your watch no longer required your iPhone to be the middleman. But despite a watch focus app store, a couple of reviewers were still a little miffed that the Apple Watch itself did not come with a standard sleep tracker. Another interesting feature that not everyone pointed out is the new international SOS feature available for the cellular model. CNET's reviewer thinks that this seems like a helpful travel tool. My phone service doesn't work outside the US, so I might be more in need of assistance in case of an emergency. Those were the big takeaways of the Apple Watch Series 5, but we also looked at the actual scores the reviewers gave. Across all 10 of these reviews, the average score was an 8.5 out of 10. We looked at consumer reviews as well, and the average reviews for them was about a 9.6 out of 10. So yeah, critics and consumers agree the Apple Watch Series 5 is a pretty amazing product, but how much should you pay for it? You should never ever pay retail price because we've seen here at Slick Deals, seven deals hit our front page since the watch was released in September. What is the Slick Deals front page? It's kind of like Reddit for deals. Our community finds and shares deals and then they vote them up and the best ones hit our front page. For the seven deals that hit the front page, the average price of the 44 millimeter standard aluminum model was $386. And the average price of the 40 millimeter standard aluminum model was $356. Okay, and by far the best deal we've seen yet for the Series 5 was the 40 millimeter cellular model for $386 at Amazon. This is normally 500 bucks. So that was the biggest savings by far. If you're in the market for an Apple Watch, we highly recommend waiting a bit to get a great deal. And you shouldn't have to wait too long because the deals come around about once a month. If you want to ensure you get the best deal, you can set a deal alert and we'll notify you the next time it goes on sale. We left a link in the description on how to do just that. If this video helped you out, let us know in the comments, slam that like button and tell us which product you wanna see next.